Let us see question 4 itself. Correct the following errors without opening suspense account and opening suspense account. A part. The sales book has been totaled rupees 100 short. So let us see how we will rectify it. Let us see question 4. Part E. The sales book has been totaled rupees 100 short. If I do this rectification with the help of suspense account then sales has a credit balance and it is total short by 100 so my rectification entry will be suspense account debit to sales account it is 100 this is what with opening suspense account and if I do not open suspense account it can be done without opening suspense account suspense account is debited so I will start the answer with buy itself because if suspense account would have been credited I would be starting two and as suspense account is debited I will be starting by sales book under total by rupees let us see the B part goods worth of piece 150 returned by green and company have not been recorded anywhere so it is the omission so we will just see the rectifying entry let us see the B part solution goods have been returned by green and company and not recorded anywhere so it is a sales return so rectifying entry will be sales return account debit to green and company account the amount is rupees 150 this entry is without opening suspense account as in this case it is a total omission itself so only sales return account will be debited and green account will be credited Let us see C transaction. Goods purchased rupees 250 have been posted to the debit of the supplier Gupta and Company. Let us rectify it. If we see the C part, the goods purchased, the correct entry will be purchases account debit to Gupta and company two fifty two fifty what we have done the wrong entry is it has been posted to the debit of the supplier Gupta and company word posted is used so mistake is in one account what we have done is purchase account debit Gupta and company debit 
250-250. No account has been created. So rectifying entry will be purchase account is correctly debited. Mistake is in account of Gupta itself. So with using suspense account using suspense account my rectifying entry will be suspense account debit to Gupta and company double the amount that is 500 and 500 if I pass this entry without using suspense account so if I do not use the suspense account it will be suspense account is debited so what I will do by wrong debit to Gupta and company by rupees 250. Let us see D part of question 4. Furniture purchased from Gulab and Brothers rupees 1000 has been entered in the purchase day book. So let us rectify it. Fourth part of this question fourth itself. The correct entry for furniture purchase from Gulab and Brothers it is furniture account debit to Gulab and Brothers account. The correct entry is furniture account debit to Gulab and Brothers. The wrong entry which we have done. We have entered in the purchase day book. So what we have done is purchases account debit to Gulab and Brothers account. 1000. 1000. Gulab and Brothers, Gulab and Brothers is correct. So rectifying entry will be furniture account has to be debited. We have not done it. So we will do it. And purchase account should not have been debited but it has been done. So to rectify it, purchase account will be credited. So what we will do is our rectifying entry will be furniture account debit Purchases account 1000. 1, Let us see question fifth. The following errors affecting the account for the year 2011 were detected in the books of Jan Brothers daily. First, sale of old furniture rupees 150 treated as sale of goods. So let us see how we do it. So let us see the solution. Question fifth, it's first part. Sale of old furniture treated as sale of goods. The correct entry is debit to furniture account one fifty one fifty the wrong entry is what we have done we have treated as sale of goods so what we have done is cash account debit to sales account with the same amount one fifty 150. Cash, cash is correct. So the rectifying entry will be 
what? Sales account is wrongly credited, so it will be debited. So rectifying entry will be sales account debit to furniture account. Let us see the second transaction. Receipt of 500 from Ram Mohan credited to Shamsund. So let us see. Let us see the second part. Receipt of P500 from Ram Mohan. So the correct entry will be cash account debit to Ram Mohan account. That is correct entry is 500, 500. But what we have done? We have credited to Shamsun. The word credited is there. So it implies mistake is in one account. And I have already told you that whenever there is a transaction related to cash and bank, we always assume that cash and bank part is correct. Unless question specifies it, that there is some mistake in cash or big bank account. So wrong entry is cash account debit to Shyam Sundar. 500, 500. Cash, cash part is correct. So the rectifying entry will be Shyam Sundar account debit to Ram Mohan account. 500, 500. Let us see the third transaction. Goods worth Rs. 100 bought from Mohan Narayan have remained unrecorded so far. So it is the error of complete omission. So we will see. So it is the case of complete omission goods purchased from Mohan Narayan have not been recorded. So our correct entry and rectifying entry will be seen that is purchases account debit purchases account debit to Mohan Narayan account. The amount is 100, amount is 100. Let us see the fourth transaction. A return of Rs 120 from Mukesh posted to his debit. It implies goods returned by Mukesh has been posted to the, his debit account. Word posted is there, so it implies mistake is in one account. So let us rectify it. So let us rectify the fourth transaction. The correct entry for goods returned from Mukesh. It will be sales return account debit to Mukesh account. To Mukesh account. It will be 120 and 120 itself. The wrong entry which we have passed, that is, we have posted the amount to the debit of Mukesh. Word posted is there, mistake is in one account, so what we have done? Sales return account debit, M Mukesh account debit. So the rectifying entry, we will see sale return account is correctly debited. Mistake is in Mukesh account. It should have been credited with 120 but has been debited with 120. So with the double amount it will be rectified. The rectifying entry will be suspense account debit to 
Mukesh account. It will be double amount. 240. 240. That is 120 plus. Let us see the fifth transaction. A return of rupees 92 Shamsundar posted as rupees 9 in his account. Word posted is there. It implies mistake is in only one account. When any subsidiary book is involved, that is purchase return, sales return, we, and personal account are also involved in it, we always assume that mistake is in the personal account. Because when word posted is given, mistake is only in one account itself. So let us see how we rectify it. So let us rectify the fifth transaction. The correct entry is return of piece 92 Shamsun. It is a purchase return. So Shamsun account to debit 2. Purchase return account. The amount is 90, but the wrong entry which we have passed, we have posted in his account as rupees 9 only. So it implies what we have done is we have debited Shyam Sundar account not with 90 but with rupees 9 only and the purchase return account is correctly credited by rupees 90 because when word posted is written mistake is in one account and we always assume that purchase book sales book and any other subsidiary book involved with respect to purchase and sales and sales return and purchase return mistake is not in that account but in the another account involved so word posted is there so we have assumed that there is no mistake in the purchase return. So purchase return account is correctly shown. So mistake is in only in Shamsundar account. It should have been debited with 90 but is debited with rupees 9 only. So rectifying entry will be Shamsundar account to debit to suspense account. The amount involved will be 81 and 81. Let us see the sixth part. Rent of proprietor's residence 600 debited to rent account. It's a proprietor residence that is owner residence. So it should have been debited to drawings account but it has been debited to rent account. So let us rectify it. Let us see its solution. The correct entry for proprietor's residence rent is drawings account to debit to cash account. No matter rent is paid but it is paid for the personal use of the proprietor 600. But what we have done? The wrong entry passed is we have debited to the rent account. So what we have done is rent account debit to cash account. 600, 600. Cash is correctly credited. So in the rectifying entry we have wrongly debited rent account but we should have debited the drawings account with 600. So drawings account will be debited and the rent account which is wrongly debited will be credited. So the rectifying entry will be drawings account debit to rent account. Let us see the seventh transaction. A payment of rupees 215 to Muhammad Sadiq posted to his credit as it is 125. Word posted is there. It implies mistake is in only one account. And word payment is there. We always assume that 
कैश अकाउंट एंड बैंक अकाउंट इज करेक्टली डेबिटेड और क्रेडिटेड अन लेस क्वेश्चन स्पेसिफाई समथिंग रिगार्डिंग इट सो लेट इज रेक्टिफाइड Let us see the seventh transaction itself. The correct entry when we are we have made the payment to Muhammad Sadiq, the entry will be Muhammad Sadiq account debited to cash account with two one five two one five. But wrong entry which we have passed is. We have not debited Muhammad Sadiq, but we have credited it. So what we have done is, one thing is we always assume that cash account is always correctly debited or credited unless question specifies. So cash account is correctly credited. So mistake is in M Sadiq account. It account should have been debited with two one five, but we have credited with one twenty five. So if we see cash account is correctly credited. so mistake is only in the m sadiq account so when we we will rectify it mohammad sadiq account will be debited with 215 plus 125 that is equal to 340 to suspense account so rectifying entry will be mohammad sadiq account debit to suspense account 340 Let us see the eight transaction. Sales book added nine hundred short. So it is a casting error. So let us rectify it. Sales always have a credit balance. We have added nine hundred short. So it simply rectifying entry will be. We are supposed to increase the balance of sales. So rectifying entry will be suspends account debit to sales account by rupees nine hundred. There is no need of any wrong entry or correct entry because we were we are supposed to show the balance of sales from sales book to sales account. So it the sales book was total nine hundred short. We have just increased its balance. By crediting sales account by nine hundred, and there is no other account, so we have used suspense account. Let us see the ninth transaction. The total of bills receivable book is fifteen hundred left unposted. So we have not posted it. It it is an error of omission. So we will post it by passing the rectifying link. Let us see. Let us see the ninth solution. Its rectifying entry will be straight away because it has been not been posted. Bills receivable is an asset. Asset always have a debit balance, so it will be bills receivable account debit debit to suspense account. The amount is one thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred. Let us see question number six. Let us see question six. Pick the correct answer from the given choices. First part: goods purchased from A for rupees ten thousand. Pass through the sales book. The error will result in the purchase of ten thousand is shown as sales, as it is passed in the sales book. It means expense of ten thousand is not shown, but it is shown as revenue of ten thousand. So it will lead to increase in gross profit. So answer will be a increase in gross profit by rupees twenty thousand. B option is not correct. C is not correct. D is not correct. So the correct answer will be increase in GPS. Expense of ten thousand is not shown. Instead of that, revenue of ten thousand in the sales book is shown. So it will lead to, due to this mistake, there will be increase in 
GP gross profit by rupees 20,000. Let us see the second part. If a purchase return of rupees 1000 has been wrongly posted to the debit of sales return account but has been correctly entered in the supplier's account, the total of the options are given, trial balance would show the debit side of 1000 more, B option trial balance will show a credit side of 1000 more, C the debit side or trial balance will be 2000 more and D option the credit side or trial balance will be 2000 more. If we analyze the transaction, purchase return has a debit balance. Sorry, purchase return has a credit balance of rupees 1000. Instead of showing at credit side, it has been posted to the debit of sales return. So it implies we should have done 1000 purchase return would have been shown on the credit side of the trial balance that we have not done. But what we have shown, we have shown it as a on the debit of the sales return. So purchase return account should have been credited by 1000 in the trial balance. It is not shown. So credit total is short by 1000. And the other thing is we have shown the debit of sale return by 1000. So debit total has been increased by 1000 more which should have not been done. So one point is credit total of 1000 is less. Second is debit total is of 1000 is more. So net impact is due to this mistake by 2000 the debit total has been increased. So in the trial balance the debit side of trial balance would be more by 2000. So answer correct answer is C. Let us see the third part. If the amount is posted to the wrong account or it is written on the wrong side of the account, it is called error of commission. So best option is B. As in case of A option error or omission, we do not write anything or Partially we write or record the transaction. So A option is not there. B option error commission is due to wrong posting or wrong amount. So as per this question B option is correct. Error principle cannot be there itself and compensation mistake is also not there. So correct option is B error of commission itself. Let us see the second part of the same question. It's first sub part. Rupees 200 paid as wages for erecting a machine should be debited to. See when we are paying any wages for erection that is installation of machine. It is part of capital expenditure. So it is added to the cost of the machine. So the correct entry will be machinery account debit to cash. So the option given are repairs account, it is incorrect. B machine account, it is correct. C capital account and D furniture cannot be used here. So the correct answer is B machine account should be debit. Let us see its second sub part. On purchase of old furniture, on purchase of old furniture, the amount of rupees 1000 spent on its repair should be debited to. See, any expense made on purchase of old asset related to it will be added to the cost of the asset. So, on purchase of old furniture, rupees 1000 will be added to the cost of the furniture. So, furniture account will be debited. So, the correct answer is B. Furniture account will be debited. A option is incorrect. C option is also incorrect and D there is no use. So the correct answer is B. Furniture account will be debited the, the amount of repairs on purchase of old furniture.
So let us see the its third sub part. Goods worth rupees. Goods worth rupees fifty given as charity should be credited to. When goods are given as charity, there is outflow of goods. So the correct general entry is charity account debit to purchases account. So we have been asked which account should be credited. A option charity account falls because charity account will be debited here. B option sales account no. When we are giving goods for charity, sales account is not at all used. C option purchases account is correct. The correct general entry is charity account debit to purchases. So C option is correct. And D option cash cannot be used. So the correct option is C purchases account. Let us see the fourth transaction. Goods worth rupees hundred taken by the proprietor for domestic use should be credited to. The correct entry for this is if goods are taken by the proprietor, drawings account debit to purchases account. We are supposed to see which account is credited. So purchase account should be credited. Option A sales account is not correct. Option B proprietor's personal expenses is not correct. Option C purchase account is correct. So answer is C part purchase account should be credited. D's expense account is cannot be used. So the correct answer is C purchase account should be credited. From the given information, choose the most appropriate answer. Classify the following errors under errors of omission, errors of commission, errors of principle. And compensating errors itself. First part: the total of sales book was not posted to the ledger. It is not posted to the ledger, so it is the error of partial omission itself. So first part will be error of omission itself. Second, sales to Hina rupees one forty three was posted to Mina as rupees one forty three. It has been shown in the wrong account of same nature. Sales to Hina, Hina is a personal account. Posted to Mina is also personal account. Account is same, nature of account is same, but it is in the incorrect account. So it is the error of commission. So second part is error of commission. Third, goods taken away by proprietor for personal use not recorded anywhere. So it is not recorded anywhere. So it is an error of omission itself. A part. For the total of the folio, folio means page number in the sales book, rupees thousand was carried forward as hundred. It's a wrong casting totaling. So what we are supposed to see is it is an error of commission. In error of commission, these type of errors are shown. Wrong totaling or wrong carry forward. So for the correct answer is error of omission. Sir, sorry, error of commission. Fifth, repairs of newly purchased second hand machine is debited to the repairs account. If we debit the repairs account instead of the newly purchased second hand machine, it is the error of principal itself. Because repairs to newly purchased second-hand machinery, the amount is added to the cost of the machinery. So capital expenditure is shown as revenue expenditure. It is the error of principle. Let us see other things. Point out the type of errors given below. Omission, commission, principal. If it is not an error, A part sale of one twenty was written in the purchase book, so it is written in the wrong account, so it is error of omission. It's A. B part salary paid to Ram has been debited to his account. Salary paid to Ram, the correct entry is salary's account debited to cash, but it has been debited to Ram, so. There is an error of principal itself. So salary paid to Ram, debited to his account, is error of principal. Let 
the CDC part. Purchase of furniture has been entered in the purchases book. So purchase of furniture is a capital expenditure has been entered in the purchase book itself. So capital expenditure is treated as revenue expenditure. So in case of C part it is the error of principal itself. D part rupees 120 received from Ganesh has been debited to his account. In case of error of commission if we show any account on the wrong side that is if the account is to be debited we are creating it it is included as in the error of commission itself so rupees 120 received from Ganesh the correct entry is cash account debit to Ganesh account but has been debited to his account so it is nothing but error of commission itself E part. Freight paid on machinery has been debited to freight account. Whenever any type of capital expenditure is incurred, whatever expense is paid incidental to that asset, that capital expenditure is added into it. So when freight is being paid on the machinery, so it should be added to the cost of the machinery. So it is a capital expenditure but has been debited to freight account. So it is the error of principle that is we are showing capital expenditure as revenue expenditure. So in E part freight paid on machinery adapted to freight account is nothing but error of principle. Let us see it's F part. The discount columns of cash book have not been posted. So it's an error of partial omission. The discount column of the cash book have not been posted in the books. So it is the error of partial omission. If we see the G part, repairs to buildings have been debited to the buildings account. Repairs is the revenue expenditure, building is the capital expenditure. If repairs are, which is a revenue expenditure shown as capital expenditure, it is nothing but error of principle itself. So in case of G part, it is error of principle. If we see the H part, the total of the sales book is rupees 100 short. The sales book is 100 short. It is undercasting. All undercasting errors are shown in the error of commission itself. So in case of H, it is error of commission. I part, the sale of worth rupees 337 has been posted as 373. We know in case of error of commission, if we show any transaction with the wrong amount, it is in the error of commission itself. So I, in case of I, sale of 337 has been posted as 373. So it is nothing but error of commission itself. J part, the amount of a dishonored bill has been debited to general expenses account. If any bill is dishonored, the correct entries debtors account should be debited but in this case general expenses account has been debited so debtors account is the personal account and general expenses is the nominal account nature is different so it will be treated as error of principle itself so in case of j it is error of principle thank you very much